painting is 49 feet high, 371 feet in circumference, weighs 10,000 pounds, uh, and that's considerably larger than what it used to be before we brought it here when it was only uh, 42 feet high and 358 feet in circumference. So we have restored this to its full original dimensions. So this painting depicts the Battle of Atlanta on July 22, 1864. This was a U.S. victory. Now what had happened was that Confederate troops had mounted an attack uh, behind me here at the Troop Hurt House and that attack, attack was temporarily successful. Then about 45 minutes later, the Union Army counterattacks, led by General John Logan, who's the star of the painting. And the painting shows that moment of the counterattack. So it shows the sort of the battle in the balance. You know, you want to show a dramatic scene, you don't want to show a, a walkover, but it was definitely meant to show a Union victory and it was meant for Northern audiences. If you were African-American in Atlanta, you didn't see this at all because at Grant Park was a segregated place. You couldn't go in there. So what does that tell us about American history? I think there's a lot we can learn about that through using this artifact to look at those stories.